Who Needs Donuts? Story and Pictures by Mark Allen Stam Stamati. Not for disposal of mail. Sam lived with his family in a nice house. He had a big yard and lots of friends. But he wanted more donuts, not just a few, but hundreds and thousands and millions more donuts than his mother and father could ever buy him. Finally, he opted on his tricycle and rode to a big city. In. This is his book. To look for donuts. He didn't find any. Until he met a man with a wagon full of donuts. Hello, said the man. My name is Mr. Bigford. And you look like a boy who wants some donuts. I could help them. I collect them. But it is very hard work for one person. Would you like to help me? 39. Do not talk to strangers. Poor Kalani. Oh, boy, said Sam. He climbed into Mr. Burkford's wagon, and off they went. <laughs> As he rolled through the streets, they passed a sad old woman there. This may be disturbing to some viewers. Seeing on the doorstep, who needs donuts, she shouted. Who needs donuts? She shouted. That's right. Who needs donuts when you've got to have? A few minutes later, speed up. A few minutes later, they stopped in front of a huge warehouse. Mr. Burke from unlocked the door. He really closed it. This is off limits, it's prime up. It's a bandit. And Sam walked into the darkness. Great! Oh, there's a donut there. Truck. Uh, no, it's in it. <laughs> when the lights were on, he saw more donuts than he had ever imagined there could be. While Mr. Burkford emptied the wagon, Sam ate and played in the donuts. You never know if they're dirty. They're on the floor. Keep out. You should keep out. It's off limits. <laughs> he went collecting. This, are, this is a round Lincoln. You should... As they were collecting. Mr. Burford knew all the best places to look. He's dead, but he's real. And Sam learned his job very fast. That's not real. Weak. Together they collected so many donuts that their wagon broke down. Sam was looking for a telephone call to call a repairman, but every phone was out of order. By the time the wagon was fixed, they had decided to get married and 
open how about pretzel store mr burkford gave sam the wagon and all the donuts in it don't you want to collect donuts anymore said oh. As, at last he found a woman with a big wagon full of pretzels her name was Pretzel and and he had a telephone with, with a direct line to a wagon repair man. Well, Sam helped the repair the rep the repair man fix the wagon. Something wonderful was happening between Mr. Burkford and Pretzel Annie from the first moment they saw each other and fell in love. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, see that angel there. Do, 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 do. By the time the wire was fixed, they had decided to get married and open a pretzel store. Mr. Burke for gave Sam the wagon and hold the donuts in it. Don't you? Don't you want to collect donuts anymore? said Sam. Who, who needs donuts? said Bert. Mr. Burkford and he and Pretzel Annie ran off together. <laughs> A moment l later, said the sad woman walking by. That's right. She said, who needs donuts when you got love? <laughs> Suddenly, Sam found himself all alone in the big city with a wagon full of donuts. He took a bite of one, but it was too full to eat it. And the idea of collecting more it seemed like any fun without Mr. Burkford. What am I going what am I going to do with all these donuts? He asked himself uh, as he trudged down the street. <laughs> Meanwhile the sad old woman had gone home to her tiny room in the basement of a coffee factory. Where she laid down for her afternoon nap. Home, sad home. She didn't get much sleep, however, because at uh, that moment a wild bull was escaping from the pet shop next door. It charged into the coffee factory. Buttered a hole in a giant vat of coffee. Burr! And ran away. The coffee poured out all over the floor and stared away into the basement. Burr! 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 When the old woman woke up, she found herself over her head in a room. Full of lukewarm coffee. <laughs> help me! Help me! Save me! She cried. I can't swim! Sam heard her scream. Sam! Help! But he, but he couldn't swim either, so he had to think fast. He pulled the donut wagon over to the window. Who needs... Who needs donuts? cried the old woman. You do, said Sam. He tilted the wagon and poured all the donuts into the basement. Great! <laughs> the donut soaked up the coffee, leaving the old woman sitting in the saddle. So puddle, you and your donuts have saved my life. 
she said. How can I ever repay you? She offered, she offered him her meager life savings to buy more donuts, but Sam refused. Who needs donuts? He said, I've got love. She said, goodbye. Hopped on his tricycle. In. <laughs> and rode home. <laughs> <laughs>